Hi, this is GM Props. Well, it's finally done. After a lot of work, a lot of design changes, a lot of software changes, we finally have a working warp core simulation pad. Let me show you how this whole thing works. This is a finished pad. It's actually the very first one that was, uh, that was created with the, uh, the new software and new hardware. The functional buttons are the on button, which will also turn it off. So let's just turn it on again. The other functional buttons are the up button and the down button. In true warp core simulation fashion, the green levels are your safe operating levels. The yellow level is you're, you're getting it up to a higher level, and so you're having a faster reaction. You're probably getting your higher warp speeds, so they have to be monitored carefully. This is the cautious level. The red level is your dangerous levels to operate at. This would be like warp 9.5 or something like that. But when you get into this top level, you're reaching critical. And this is not a level you want to be at for any sustained period. Maybe a burst of one or two seconds and that's it. Because after that, the warp core will overheat because the reaction isn't getting time enough to cool down. So you have to bring it down. This allows the warp core to cool. Now just like a real warp core, if you bring the level up to the maximum and wait for the alarm, see the display starts to flash. Procedure says that you're supposed to lower it two levels. If you only lower it one level, you haven't done enough. So like a true simulation, it's, uh, it's still going to explode. You must bring the level down to a safe yellow level to prevent the explosion. The pad runs off of one single lithium ion battery. It's rechargeable through a port at the side. Now I don't know if it's visible. You can see there's a switch in the edge. The switch, before you can do recharge, has to be switched over to the charge mode. The charger, which comes with the pad, then has to be plugged into the port the side. If it's plugged in properly, a red light will appear on the charger. Then it's just a matter of plugging it into the wall. While it's charging, there'll be a light that will flash on and off inside of this charger. When it's finished charging, the light will turn off and you'll only see the red light. Once you're finished charging, just remove the charger and switch the button, the switch here, back to run mode. There you have it. That's the warp core simulation pad. It's taken a lot of work but we finally got it to where we want it. I hope you enjoyed it.